Oh, good morning. If you're watching this in the morning, it's morning for me. It's uh, 9-11. Oh, long time no see. I apologize. Um, a lot's been going on. I'm pregnant. Probably can't see it too well in here. Um, 22 weeks along. I've been working a lot. And um, all of my mental health energy has been drained by 2020 pregnancy. Um, trying to get cars sold and fixed. Well, fixed and then sold. And, um, you know, just life. Oh, election year. <laughs> That's really what's giving it. Oh, God. Okay. Anyways, um, so today I am taking the 1986 Pontiac Fiero up to Wairika, about half hour away, to uh, get it smogged because no one here in my small town can do cars that are older than 20 years old. Um, so I'm going to take you guys on this trip, on this journey of getting this thing smogged so that I can then get it registered and sell it. Maybe even to one of you watching. I don't know if you're interested. Um, that's, that's up to you. But first, I need to figure this out. And now my phone's ringing. So I'll be right back. All right. Better? Maybe. Possibly. Anyways, I just thought I'd do a simple look. Why does my phone want to ring every single time I'm recording? Okay. Let's see if she wants to start. <laughs> Not gonna lie, that was my second attempt. All right. So like I said previously, I just put $2,600 into the engine of this thing to run nicely. And it's doing okay. Um, I really can't set that there, can I? You're all jiggly. That's all right. Um, she's got a full tank of fuel. And uh, yeah. I hope it doesn't catch on fire on me. I'm gonna take the uh, the quick route there and the scenic route back, so I guess we'll just look forward to that. So my goal is to sell this for five grand. Um, I at least need to make some money back on it and um, make some money to put down on a new family car that I have in mind, which I'll save for a later vlog. Wish me luck. I'm gonna let this warm up a little bit and then uh, head out on this adventure. <laughs> oh God, help me. Okay, things are going good so far. I'm about halfway there. All is well. Um, it's driving nicely. I can't complain, it's just a little loud and you know, it's not made for the tires that are on it. So that's, I can feel that. I do have to say, I don't know how I managed to drive this car the six hours home from Modesto where I got it without my leg completely dying of cramping because I have the seat as far forward as I can get it and my leg is about as extended as far as I can get it to extend. Like, uh, just, just about there. So, that's cool. Um, but yeah, so far so good. That's the update. Wairika. Well, not through Wairika, to Wairika, I should say. Uh, just getting to Grenada. Um, I don't have much further to go, so I'm a little more than halfway, actually, but that's great. Um, yeah. So far, so good. <laughs> I wanted to come outside because it always feels really weird when I can when I know that people are listening to me vlog and talk to myself. Um, it's, been, it's been a little rough. It didn't want to start when, um, when I got here and they wanted to bring it in because <laughs> I left the lights on. Um, I haven't had any starting problems, 
but I'm pretty sure that that's my fault with leaving the lights on. Uh, we'll see. So they had to jump it and um, the engine light comes on after it idles for a long time, which I knew, which I had a feeling would happen while we were here and in the state of California that causes you to not pass smog. However, what's causing it is the ALDL connector, which has absolutely nothing to do with emissions. Um, he's continuing the test. He turned the car off and turned it back on and he's like, yeah, your engine light doesn't come back on. When I turn it off and turn it back on, I'm like, I, I know. And it doesn't turn on when the car is in drive and running for a long period of time, just when it's sitting and idling in park for no reason. Well, I mean, the ALDL comes out for no reason. It's stupid. It sits in like the center console now near the, um, the cigarette lighter. And it's a connector and it's bullshit. Anyways, uh, he's still, he's still testing it. Um, We'll see. We'll see what happens. So far, it's been a kind of frustrating morning, and for my my 22-week uh, pregnant ass, um, it's testing my, my patience and my emotions just, just a little bit. Um, I just want to get this car smogged so that I can register it and get the title and sell it. I just want to get rid of it. That's all I want. The car does not want to be gotten rid of. Anyways, they just turned it off. So I'm going to go back inside and see what they say. Okay, so, so somehow we passed smog, even though the engine light does come on after a little while, but it passed all the emission tests, which is perfectly wonderful, amazing. Now I'm going to take it to the DMV.